Welcome aboard, folks. Here we go for another hour of Your Voice Counts on Real News, Real Talk, Real People, Republic Broadcasting Network, because you can handle the truth. Folks, if you can't handle the truth, you need to go to uh, another station or turn this one off, because today I'm extremely honored and proud to have two distinguished men uh, on my radio show, one of them I know very personally, and the other one I've had the honor of talking on the phone and, and emails. Uh, Dr. Robert Kamansky. Now, this gentleman, he's a dentist. He's a scholar. He's a sleuth. And he bleeds red, white, and blue, folks. I'm, I might also add, he's a full-blooded Jew, just as his wife is. And we'll get into why this this great man is involved in the USS Liberty and its cause. I could read his bio, but it would take up the whole hour to do it. But I have to give this man so much credit and honor and dignity for his uh, steadfastness for the truth of the USS Liberty. And my other host or guest, of course, as everybody knows, is our dear friend Don Pagler. Don is a survivor of the USS Liberty, and I need not forget his late wife, his beautiful wife, a woman, his rock, his soul, his life, Eva. Eva was a true believer. She did everything she could for Don. And I'll tell you one thing, she put on one of the one of the best reunions we ever had. Eva will never be forgotten by me or the USS Liberty crew. May she rest in peace, and I know her, I know her uh, soul and her heart and her spirit is with us today. As I said, that uh, I like to call him Doctor Bob. He's a he's a guy that got involved with the USS Liberty and has put his heart and soul and his life and limb. Yes, sir, and his life and limb in getting the truth out about the USS Liberty, not only with his mouth, his words, his integrity, his bond, his love, and commitment to the USS Liberty, but also his money. Yes, also his money. Now, he wants the real truth about the Zionist attack on our good ship USS Liberty, June 8, 1967. The slaughter of 34 of our mates and the wounding of 174 others, including myself. You know, folks, I've been accused of being a Jew hater. I'm not. I've been accused of being a Nazi. I'm not. But what I am, and which I, I proudly uh, hold the banner is the truth about what happened June 8, 1967 by the Zionist State of Israel attacking and slaughtering 34 of my mates. That's what I'm about, and that's what this radio show is about. There's a fellow out there on his website that uh, thinks that RBN and AFP are nothing but you haters. But, folks, i got to tell you something. RBN and American Free Press has given the USS Liberty more leverage than anybody that I know of. That's right, because it's real news, real talk, real people, because you can't handle the truth. So I know I'm not a Jew hater. I know I'm not a Nazi. But we have a, a full-blooded Jew here, along with his beloved wife, that will go the limit will go the limit for the crew of the USS Liberty. And they've done so. 
You know, I've had uh, people on my radio show, everybody has heard of Norm, uh, Norm Chomsky. You know, he's Jewish, very Jewish. He, and he supports the state of Israel, but he also supports the truth about the USS Liberty. So, uh, Mr. Uh, fellow shipmate, I would suggest you take off your website uh, what uh, Jew haters RBN and American uh, uh, free, press, uh, free Press is. Because we're not built that way. The crew's not built that way. We're here to get the truth out, and that is it. And so uh, I would hope that uh, him and his flunkies would uh, take that site down because it does nobody any good. Nobody. All it does is bring hate and discontent. But we don't want that here. Now, we're going to be talking about, folks, CIA, FBI, uh, NSA, Department of the Army, uh, Secret Service, you name it. These two fellows have done it. I'm talking about Dr. Bob and Mr. Don Pagler, a dear friend of mine, an honest, truthful a uh, wonderful man that has worked his rear end off to get the truth out, just as uh, Dr. Bob has. And I respect you men deeply, and I'm honored to have you on this great radio station. It just means the world to me. Believe me, it does. I want to thank RBN, Republic Broadcasting, Mr. John Statmiller, that gives me the opportunity once a week to honor the crew of the USS Liberty. The men were slaughtered that day, 34 of them, the 174 others that were wounded by the Zionist State of Israel in cold-blooded murder in in international waters. As our government let it happen, called back the rescue aircraft. Yeah, they called them back and left us out there alone. It's a terrible, terrible thing, folks. And, I mean, if you weren't there, you wouldn't believe it, but it's the truth. It's the God's honest truth. And we have plenty of people that uh, can back it up uh, with books, words, or whatever. And I've had so many great people on this radio show from FBI, uh, CIA, NSA, you name it. I've had them, uh, uh, senators, ambassadors, just go on and on and on. I also want to thank a very, very uh, special girl, Kat Faber. She uh, sings the songs, and she's the producer of this radio show, Your Voice Counts. And also Ron Kukul, he was in charge of uh, body recovery and identification. And, uh, folks, we've just got a few seconds, and I'll go on. But when the music comes on, we got to get off air. And I also I want to thank... Uh, a very special friend of mine, a mentor, and a father figure to me is Mr. John Gadesco. If you want to listen or hear about the USS Liberty, go to tinyurl.com forward slash USS Liberty, tinyurl forward slash, tinyurl.com forward slash USS Liberty. The song is coming on, folks. Stay aboard. We have got a show that you've got to listen to. God bless America. God bless you. It says liberty. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, folks. Here we go to you. Your voice counts on Real News, Real Talk, Real People, RBN, because you can handle the truth. And again, it is my great honor to have on Dr. Robert Kamansky and also my dear friend Don Pagler and survivor of the USS Liberty 
again, it is my extreme honor to have both of you guys on the show and how hard you've worked to get the truth out. And I want to start out, we're going to talk about uh, not just smoking guns, let's just go about uh, smoking uh, nuclear bombs that you guys have uncovered. Now, I wanted to start off with Dr. Bob uh, on one of the things that just, just really irritates me. On June the 9th, 1967, there were telegrams sent out to the men that were murdered that day by the Zionist State of Israel that it was under friendly fire, mistaken identity, when the Board of Inquiry, which only lasted 30 days by the direction of John McCain's father, uh, the senator of Arizona, he was in charge of uh, European forces. Uh, he was the main man. Why would they send out those type of messages even before the Board of Inquiry started? And that was by uh, Admiral Isaac Kidd and also uh, Captain Ward Boston, who has since recanted his uh, testimony and said it was nothing but a sham. Welcome aboard, Dr. Bob, and welcome aboard, Donald Pagler. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, in answer to your question, sir, uh, I'm Captain Kamansky, uh, U.S. Army, uh, 69 to 75. Uh, uh, James R. Gautier called the telegrams further evidence that there was undue command influence in the structuring and conduct of the Court of Inquiry, and that the political decision had been made to cover this up within hours of the attack, I quote James R. Gotcher. James R. Gotcher was an Air Force intelligence analyst assigned to Da Nang, Vietnam in 1967, and said he saw the original military message traffic on the Liberty Assault, and that it showed the attack was delivered. Uh, I'm reading this uh, uh, from uh, the Wikipedia, uh, which is an excellent source for... Uh, your uh, question. So, uh, you have any other questions for Don and I? Uh, we've been a team. Don is uh, my Sir Edmund Hillary, as uh, I am uh, Norgay Tenzing, helping him guide him up to the, uh, the Mount Everest of Truths. And we've been one heck of a team for the last um, many years, actually. And we intend to get to the truth of this matter. Uh, uh, Failure is not an option, and I would like to tell the... Uh, well, right now, I want you to picture this. I'm wearing a yarmulke. I'm looking at the picture of Commander William L. McGonagall in his cabin with a rocket hole in it, and... Uh, I What? You all right? You, what? Well, Go ahead. Okay, we're getting a little break up here, guys. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, Don, I I hear you. Go ahead, Don, or Doctor, whoever go wants to go first. Yeah, go I'll ahead. Go. Did you did you hear me uh, in matters of the? Uh, you heard me in the matters of the uh, the fact that the National Archives in College Park, Maryland. Maryland includes in its files on casualties from the Liberty copies of the original telegram the Navy sent out to family members. The telegram is called the accidental. And uh, I wanted, yes, okay, separate rooms. Okay, James R. Gotcher, a formal counsel to the Liberty Veterans Association, called the telegram for their evidence that there was undue command influence in the structuring and conduct of the Court of Inquiry. So, uh it looks like that's another smoking gun. Uh, can you hear me? I, I can. You're, you're coming across loud, clear. And, and my, my question was to you, uh, uh, Doctor Bob. And, and I know you're, you're, uh, you know, you served your country honorably in the United States Army, and uh, and uh, you do uh, bleed red, white, and blue. And your you know, with your efforts and uh, what you found out through the CIA and who you're still working with and NSA and just 
so many other uh, different organizations. Uh, it seems to me, uh, doctor, that the uh, cover-up uh, was put in place uh, so fast and so furious. Just with those uh, telegrams, it 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 bleeds uh, volumes about how fast they wanted this covered up. What are your views yeah. on that? Well, when you look at jamming, uh, none of the Israeli Defense Forces investigators report or confirm or deny radio frequency jamming was performed during the attack. So they have the, Israel has not answered these questions yet. They don't either confirm or deny the fact that they jam your radios. Now, how how would that happen? In our research, in our research at the Nixon archives, uh, we found that uh, you know the President of the United States can give um, classified information to our uh, 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 friends, and it is our opinion that maybe when you read these Israeli documents, that uh, perhaps they. Uh, before before the attack, Israel had uh, uh, all the things necessary to jam you. So, uh, to me, uh, that's just another smoking gun, and there's many more. Uh, uh, there is many more, and uh, you guys are doing a yeoman's job of uncovering so many different things. And I mean, there is so many different things. Uh, you and I, and Don, and several other people. Uh, a few others know exactly what's going on, but what what drives you, uh, Doctor? Uh, you, you're uh, uh, a Jewish American. Your, your wife is a Jewish American, and she stands behind you steadfastly to get the truth out about the USS Liberty. What makes you so uh, so dedicated, so animated about this well, cause? Uh, well. As I told Ambassador, His uh, Excellency Ambassador Iran, uh, my driving force were the, was the, are the Ten Commandments that I thought were violated that day, and the Talmud. And I've sent out him many, many emails. I've never received a reply. I've asked him as a Jew, since uh, Jews have certain legal rights in Israel, to invite me to the uh, Israel Embassy in Washington, D.C., to discuss this man-to-man -man and soldier-to-soldier, -soldier, but he has never allowed me to do that. My driving force is the fact that my Ten Commandments and my Talmud were violated that day. And I intend to find the truth under God. And I told him I would. And I will. You can guarantee that. I can guarantee you that. Uh, there is a... Uh, 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 Captain of Army knows no uh, failure... It's not an option. If it was, we'd all be speaking Russian right now. I, 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 I signed my brother is the commander in the U.S. Navy, and he feels the same way. 28 years of war duty. We both feel the same way. Many people feel the same way. I was in Washington, D.C., and people that were there that day, you believe this or not, at, 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 at a major club in Washington, D.C., pulled me over and off. The record said there was deliberate, Dr. Kamansky, but this is a very dangerous path you're going on. And I said, I don't have to worry about that. My Jewish Messiah will protect me, and he has protected me. Okay, Doctor, we're going to go to a break. Very interesting conversation. Looking forward to hearing from Don, too. Folks, support your sponsors at Republic Broadcasting Network if you want to keep on hearing the truth about this story and many others. God bless you. See you in a minute. Welcome back, folks. Uh, your voice counts. Thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate you hanging on and listening to this, um, this great man, this wonderful man, this wonderful Jewish man that is put his, putting his life and limb, as I said before, in his money to get the real truth out about the attack on our ship by the Zionist State of Israel, June 8, 1967, 
when they tried to sink us all and blame it on a on another country, and that country would have been Egypt. Now, Doctor, you know, you've dealt uh, with many, many patients and, and many, many, many different problems. And it's, it's so you told me so, so very profoundly that you're almost a, a sleuth, too, and an investigator to be a dentist, uh, dentistry, to figure out what's going on and, and, and why. And I, and I want then I want to get Dawn on, but I, I want to say this. I, I do appreciate everything you've done, and I, I just want to make sure that the people out there know that uh, that the uh, the men that you've dealt with aboard the USS Liberty, uh, including myself, have we have we got a hateful bone in our body against the Jews? Could could, could you please answer that for me? I would love to, sir. I would like to tell Ambassador Oren and Israel, a nation that my mother and family helped build as I collected nickels for the B'nai B'rith, that uh, my brother, myself, my wife, my father-in-law, who just passed away, uh, and family, uh, he was in the camps, and my mother-in-law was in the camps. We have never felt this. We have felt nothing but love for Anne and I and my family. We would know as Jews if there were problems of that nature, and there never have been. I swear to this. I'm wearing a yarmulke white right now, and I swear this to my Jewish Messiah, that you are the most beautiful people I've ever met in my life. And I've never, my wife has never found, she's a, a daughter of two Holocaust survivors, for God's sake, would she ever, uh, would she ever have anybody a friend that would be anti-Semitic? Never, 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 never. That is my answer to you, sir. Well, Doctor, you know, I, I thought in my heart, and I knew in my soul, uh, I had hate for a long time. But I found out uh, my hate was directed in the wrong direction. And uh, it was uh, almost like being uh, a boulder or ten boulders lifted off off of my shoulders because of the, the great people uh, that have come forth. In fact, there was a, a gentleman that sponsored uh, our uh, event, our uh, reunion, a co-backer, one of the biggest... Shoe, shoe manufacturers in the world, and he was afraid that the crew would be mad at him because he was Jewish. But his Jewish faith demanded that that uh, that he get the truth out, and he wanted the crew of the USS Liberty to understand that, as you as you've done and and what you're doing, and and uh, I respect you deeply for that. I respect uh, all Jews that want the truth. I respect all people that want the truth. And I also respect my dear friend, uh, Don Padler. And if Don, if you'd chime in and, and help us out here. And we do have a caller that wants to talk to us, but please come on board, Don. Well, first of all, let me say thank you for uh, paying tribute to my late wife, um, Dr. Bob knew her, uh, and uh, so uh, I guess that's enough said about that. Uh, um, we've been working together for about almost five years, and um, it, uh, it, it there's no animosity between him and I as, as far as anything goes. Uh, there is one thing I want to say, too, in addition to the work we've been doing that um, – what we have encountered recently, especially since Dr. Bob found the uh, CIA document that says that Moshe Dayan knew who we were and his own general told him it was murder, um, all the agencies we've been working with, uh, it, to me, appear to be trying to do their very best. They have a job to do, which means they can't just 
throw every piece of information in the world out there. Their job is to d- discern what information should and shouldn't be released. Uh, but uh, I think they, it, it, you know, it's been our experience, I think, and I should speak for myself, not for Dr. Bob, but that uh, they're doing their best to help us out. So um, I guess that's, that's one of the main things I would like to relate. Well, you, well, you know, Don, it, it, uh, it's interesting. Uh, you, and I've, you and I have, have talked. I don't know how many hours over the phone and then in person and, uh, and our thoughts and, and, uh, what we, what we wanted to accomplish. And it's always actually came back to the, this, the same point, uh, the, the, let's say the same, uh, the same, uh, point of, uh, uh, of the pyramids is that all we want is the truth. Nothing more, nothing less, uh, nothing hid. Uh, by the United States government or the or the state of Israel, is why uh, the United States of America would set up one of the most sophisticated uh, intelligence uh, ships in the world, and then uh, murder 25 of their most valued their most valued uh, men uh, spies uh, in the world. Is beyond belief in international waters, but it did happen, folks. This is not a fairy tale. Don lived through it. I lived through it. There's a lot of others that did. Well, not a lot. They're all we're all dying off, but uh, we're still here to tell the truth, and we want to tell the truth, and nothing more than the truth. But uh, our Congress seems to shy away from that. I wonder why. Is that because the ADL, APAC, or what? Uh, yeah, Dr. Bob can address that, but yes, I, you know, it, it is interesting that, uh, as I said, I think our experience with the agencies is they're trying their best to do their job, but in the political arena, um, and, and, and I don't, I'm not even angry at them, I understand, I mean, because we've known politicians who have been unelected, so to speak, as a result of taking a stand on the liberty. So it is a reality, and um, and so that political money can come to bear on people, and so it sometimes doesn't do us any good to have people basically crucify themselves. And uh, you and I even had an experience uh, in San Diego that time when the captain alluded to this, but we couldn't get him to say a word about it. So it, it extends to anybody that's actively working within the government of our country. So. Uh, a good explanation, uh, uh, Don. Very good and very honest and very heartfelt. And uh, uh, Doctor and Don, we have uh, uh, a person that called in, John from New York, and we're going to take a call or two, if you guys don't mind. But, uh, John, welcome to Your Voice Counts on Republic Broadcasting Network. What's on your mind? How are you, Brother Phil? This is uh, Johnny Look from New York. You know, um, Hi, Johnny. You know, I had the pleasure to you know, interview you a couple of times on another network, and uh, I just finished reading your book twice, my friend. And um, I applaud these gentlemen. I just got in from doing some family stuff. But, you know, these guys sound like me to be like Jack Bernstein and, uh, you know, uh, what's his name, Benjamin Friedman. You know, and these were Jewish men that exposed the truth. And the truth of the matter is that there's a Zionist plot to take over the world. And, um, you know, as you said in the close of your book so eloquently, uh, along with Mark Glenn, that the the blood of uh, the patriots uh, have to be... uh, and, and tyrants have to be spilled to repress the tree of liberty. And on that day, like you said in your book, that the blood of uh, the, the patriots were, was splattered all over. And uh, now it's time for the tyrants. And um, I just pray, you know, for a peaceful revolution, but I know that's not possible. Johnny, hang on. Uh, we're going to go to a break, folks, and then... The show is going to close up here. It, it, the time just goes too fast. But thank you, RBN. Uh, listen uh, to your sponsors and please support them. See you in a moment. Thank you. Bye bye. Welcome back, folks. Here we go. 
talk to uh, your voice counts and and two two wonderful guests and uh, with hearts of gold and uh, doing it the right way, uh, doing it, uh, and I mean by doing it is uh, adhering to uh, the rule of law that many have uh, squandered and uh, hid. But they're digging up. Listen, these two guys are, uh, they're digging up the truth, and the truth will come out. As Dr. Bob has told me, until the day I die, I'll, I'll keep on doing this. And uh, if he has it, if he uh, must take it to the Supreme Court, uh, well, that's where he'll, he'll be headed, along with the backing of the crew of the USS Liberty and in the front row with uh, Dr. Kamansky, uh, Kamansky will be uh, my dear friend and shipmate, uh, Don Pagler, for all he's done uh, for the crew of the USS Liberty and all the pain that he's suffered over the years because of it. And I, I suffer, you know, I've suffered a lot of pain. It's, it's not from the, it's not from the, the, the physical wounds, which I was called the walking wounded, but the the mental wounds that uh, this country put upon the crew of the USS Liberty, specifically because of what they said to us. Don't say a word, shut up, or you'll go to prison or worse. And I was told that directly from Isaac Kidd, Admiral Isaac Kidd, supported by none other than John McCain's father, Commander, United States Forces, Europe. And well, Johnny that just called in, what a great guy, what a great American. What a, He's got love in his heart, not hate, but he wants the truth, and the truth should be told. Dr. Kamansky, please come back on board and give us your thoughts. I would like to um, <clears throat> dedicate uh, my time today and thank the RBN uh, Network for this mitzvah, and which is honor. Uh, I would like to dedicate my time today to all the U.S.'s Liberty Veterans, uh, 8 June 67, for your courage, and those of you on the crew, for you are my sole motivation, and your justice under God is my reward. My last words to you will be, fight on U.S. Navy. Fight on in America first. Thank you. Absolutely, Doctor, and I couldn't agree with you more. And, and uh, I also uh, am very fortunate to have a, a, another special phone call from uh, Mr. Ron Kukul, who was in charge of uh, body recovery and identification uh, on June the 14th, 1967. Now, you have to remember, our ship got hit on the 8th, and we, we went clear to Malta, uh, and these... Uh, these poor men, these poor 25 American heroes were in salt water uh, and stinking. I'm sorry to have to say this, but it's the truth. The smell of death stayed aboard that ship, uh, and I brought her back home. And Ron was one of the guys, uh, unfortunately, that had the task of doing his duty as trying to identify them in the shape that they were in, and uh, Ron is a dear friend of mine. I respect him deeply. Welcome aboard, Ron. Ron Kukul, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, Ron, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to say hello to both of the guys there, and uh, I want to mention something before the time runs out. I did set personally with... Uh, Arthur Kobacher, um, the night of the reunion, I had no idea who he was. We just became uh, good friends that night, and uh, it was only until it was all over with that people told me uh, who Arthur was. I uh, just want to say he's one of the finest um, Jewish gentlemen I think I have ever met in my whole put together. Uh, what he did was finance a whole reunion um, I know he's gone now, and, and uh, I, I uh, just wanted to tell everybody that uh, 
this guy went all all the way for us, and he did fret about it that night. He sat and talked to me about it, and he was really worried that uh, some of his friends would find out what he'd done. Um, I can't say enough about him. That's about all I need to say, Phil. I just I just want to let both of these guys know that I sat with him most of the night that night in Washington, D.C. Well, Ron, I, I know the story. I know it well. Uh, we've talked about it. And uh, I, I thank him dearly for his contribution to the USS Liberty Veterans Association and his uh, his uh, reminder that, uh, hey, listen, I'm with you guys. I'm not against you. And uh, that, that's, that's the way with uh, many, many uh, Jewish people. Now, I have to, I have to admit, uh, do I hate? Uh, the SOBs that murdered my, my shipmates in cold blood? Absolutely I do. Do I hate and dislike the people that cover up for them? Absolutely I do. Do I uh, hate the Americans and, and this, uh, this great land of ours that have covered up as well as uh, the uh, state of Israel? Yeah. Uh, I hate him for it because all I have to do is come out with the truth, and this country would be so so much better off. And here we have two men working their rear ends off for the last five years, trying to get the truth off uh, out the le- legitimate way, the right way, the honest way. And uh, I, I salute all people that way. Believe me, uh, uh, Jewish, Gentile, or whatever, but. The truth is the truth, and the fact is we were set up to be murdered. Bring us into World War III and blame it on on uh, the uh, the Cairo government in Egypt, and uh, that, that's where I stand on that. Don, go ahead. Don, you talking to me? Yeah, Don, go ahead. I am. Don, here. Oh, go for well, it, Don. Uh, not much more to say except for. Uh, Ron and I did spend those two days down there cleaning up our 25 shipmates, and uh, that will be with us forever. And uh, that's um, remembering them is uh, is what's really important, and uh, their service should be revered for what it truly was, and that's what we're trying to get to. Absolutely. Absolutely. It uh, never could have been said better. And uh, Dr. Bob, if you'd close out our show, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Well, uh, I'm looking at a picture of Captain William L. McGonagall, and when I was doing research for a uh, university text, uh, the uh, Liberty Cipher and Deception, uh, I was uh, approached by many people asking me what I was doing, and I was I told them, and I was right in front of the uh, Medal of Honor for William L. McGonagall, and uh, I want, just wanted to tell you guys on that ship that I support you 100%, and that was a real uh, moment in my life when I saw that Medal of Honor at the uh, Cryptology Museum at NSA, and I'm never going to give up. The cause. I will find the truth. God bless you all. I know you Thank will you. find the truth. Uh, I absolutely believe that. And with what you and uh, uh, Don have uh, committed yourself to, and all the FOIAs that I've had the privilege to look at, and the the people that uh, we will be, will be talking to in the near future, in the next few days. Uh, the doors open and they're, they're opening wider. And I really believe in my heart and soul that uh, NSA, uh, Army Intelligence, uh, and on and on and on, uh, Navy Intelligence, they, they want this. They want this true story to come out. And it takes men like you of courage, dignity, and honor. Uh, to to this great country that we were privileged privileged to live in and are living in uh, to bring out the truth. Thank you both so much for coming on there. Folks, again, uh, thanks to RBN. Support your 